What's up, guys? This is Cooking with Doug, and welcome to another episode of Kitchen Gadget Talk. Now, as a reminder, you can catch these episodes as well on iTunes and Spotify. Just type in Cooking with Doug on those platforms, and um, you can hear it as well. Take me on the go with you uh, while you're exercising, commuting to work, cleaning up your house, whatever have you. <clears throat> well, without further ado, we have a special guest today, and we're going to go ahead and get her on right now. All right, without further ado, let me let my special guest uh, today introduce herself. Hi, I'm Urvishi. My blog is twosleevers.com, and I am a gadget geek. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's me. And I and I've been I've been longing to get you on my podcast. I'm glad you took the time out today to to. Uh, share your information with us, your wealth of knowledge. Um, and before we continue, just go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. I know, you know, some of you may not know she has a bunch of cookbooks out. I know you have one that recently came out. Yep, I have. Uh, so I have several cookbooks out. I have seven, five of which are out. So I have an Indian Instant Pot, a Keto Instant Pot. Then I, because I said I'm a gadget geek, so then I went to do an air fryer one. Uh, and then I did a keto desserts one, and then I have two more coming out, one in October, which is Air Fryer Part 2, and then wow. in December, I'll have a keto in 30 minutes. So it's just like, you know, good food just made fast, so whether you're keto or not, wow. it's just, you know, it's meat, meat, vegetables, real food. That's, you know, so that's really, nothing. really cool. It's really, really exhausting is what it is. Really <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of keto, um, you know, I, a lot of people don't know, but I, I am pre-diabetic, but I'm more, you know, my numbers keep rising. So my doctor really yeah. put, a, put a scare on me. So I, I'm not keto yet, but I'm doing a lot of low carb. So, um, oh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'll be reaching out to you, I guess, in the future. So you can maybe hook me oh, up yeah. with a recipe or two to put in the air fryer. I will be delighted to help you. If you go to the website right now and go to the recipe index and you click on air fryer and then you can click on low carb, there's probably 60, 70 recipes. Oh, well, yeah. Air fryer one and two both have uh, 60 plus recipes that are low carb because, you know, that's kind of how I eat. So it's easy for me to do that. Right. Okay. Um, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Well, I, I got to get on. I got to get to it. But um, yeah, the reason, one of the main reasons why I wanted to get you on, well, first, to catch up and and, and um, you guys may not know me me and over she did some consulting last year and that's when I first met her and I was like oh my gosh I know you I saw you on YouTube and I'm like you know <laughs> I, I almost asked for an autograph but um, we became you know uh, good friends and we, we just knew that we love gadgets and stuff we had that yes. in common so that was that was completely awesome so that I'll never forget that experience and so I know you got this melty crisper thingy yes and um yes. the reason one of the one of the reasons why i wanted to get you on here and i really want to get you before amazon day because i know a lot of people were going to buy it i know it was at a 50 dollar price point and a lot of people had questions about it um i didn't get it because i just didn't personally believe in it i guess i'm more of a gadget mm -hmm. snob these days so mm -hmm. and i have to watch what i get because if i get something you know everybody else is going to get it so i have to watch right. out what i get so but i know right. you got it and i know you did a video and i'm thankful that you did because it was the one of the first videos i saw on it um and i just want to you know now that you've had it for a while i just want to get your take on it um you know, from your point yeah. of view. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, look, it's got pluses and minuses, you know. Um, to me, the, the let me start with the pluses. The two big pluses are it doesn't take up a lot of space, right? It just fits on top of, uh, you know, it's a small little lid. And so for people who are living in small apartments or have smaller kitchens, uh, you know, you're looking for something for an RV or a boat or a camping thing, you know, if space is a consideration for you, it's, it's a really, really nice thing to have it. People who are going, I don't really know if I need another gadget. Well, right. you know, this this may be the way to start, right? right. Um, you know, and I think I think the other thing is that if you are the kind of person that, made, like, if you're using your Ninja Foodie a lot, or you have wanted to make recipes that are um, pressure cooked first, and then you brown the top. Like, if you find yourself doing that a lot, and you're moving things back and forth, right. you know, I love the Foodie, but I got to be honest, it, to me, it takes up so much room that yeah. it, it does not occupy a space on my 
camera. And I've got right. a, I live in Texas, so right. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, a New York apartment dweller. Right. So I've got a decent sized kitchen, right. but I can't leave the foodie out because it takes up so much space. So let's say that you're doing like a lasagna in the instant pot and you want to brown it, or you're doing, you know, meatloaf and you want to brown it. Right. Things like that, you know, I think that that lid comes in really handy. Right. The downside to me, um, and by the way, it looks small, but it actually, you know, I, in the video review that I did, you'll see you can actually accommodate as many things uh, at a time, you know, like 12 chicken wings in a batch, just like you would in one of those egg-shaped ones. Okay. The downside to me is the fan isn't as powerful as right. it would be in an egg-shaped one. Right. right? It's a so thousand like watts. This, yeah. Yeah. So the circulation that you would get in the bigger ones, you're kind of missing in this one. Sure. So wh what does that mean for a, for a cook? I think for a cook that means is that you, it may take longer. It may take, yeah. and when I say longer, I'm not talking about hours. I'm talking no, about minutes, few min minutes yeah. longer, right? Yeah. yeah. So it may take a few minutes longer, and you may have to toss your food a little bit. Um, you know, so it's not as powerful um, as, yeah. as the egg shaped ones. Yeah. So it's a trade off, yeah. right? Like yeah. people got to decide which is more important. And, and I, I like the idea of them doing it. It's so awesome. A because you know you have your anti-ninja foodieites out there that, you yes. know, they may have a pressure, I mean, an Instant Pot or even a pressure cooker or whatever. And, you know, they refuse yeah. to get it. They like their stainless steel. They're not going to move. Yes. They're not going to budge for whatever reason, either because right. they're just a loyalist or they just love their um, stainless steel and they're not moving. So for that yeah. point, I think it's a go. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, at a thousand watts, I knew off gate. That's why I, I didn't even bother. I was like, you know, most traditional are 1700 watts. But then again, since you have to be so hands on, you know, with it, I, I can't mm -hmm. imagine that 1700 watts, it'd probably burn. It, it, you know, it's pretty yes. hot at th yes. a thousand watts. So yes. 1700 yes. watts, I could see maybe the company, you know, uh, uh, didn't go that route for lawsuits or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. and, and I mean, that's the other downside, right, in my mind, and I talked about this one as well, which is that, you know, uh, the one one thing I love about the egg-shaped ones is that they're safe, like the heating element is away, so you could have like a 10-year-old, you know, putting yeah. chicken nuggets, right, under supervision, yeah. Yeah. but you, you wouldn't worry with your kids. With this, my God, forget about kids, I worry about myself, like, yeah. I'm absent-minded, <laughs> right? I could just see myself set it down on the counter, yeah. and not you know not remember the the little silicone pad that needs to oh work. yeah and it's an extra right? plug too it's an extra one i'm sorry extra plug yeah yeah mm. it is um i don't know that i'm worried about that so much but maybe i should think about that like to me you could you, you know what you need to do is you need to unplug your uh your instant pot anyway before you plug that in like just as a safety thing yeah, right? yeah. So you could leave it in the same place, finish pressure cooking, and unplug. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, many many people in my group have it and love it, and I totally see why. Yeah, I, I get and, it you know, too. I, I get yeah. it too. Like, if you're, I would say to the people that are that have an instant pot or pressure cooker that are not going to get a Ninja Foodie for whatever reason, yes. I don't know why, I still say you should go ahead and get it. Ain't <laughs> nothing like the real thing, right? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. if you are not, then I guess for 50 bucks, uh, why not? Because, you know, you, you know, so if you like an instant pot, I mean, there's, there's only a few things you're going to crisp up anyway. So it would justify, you know, you're only whipping it out X amount of times anyway. Or it's not like something yeah. you're going to do every day or every other day, or maybe, maybe once a week or once every two weeks. So I yeah. get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I mean, I, my, like I said, my biggest problem with the foodie is just the space. I just can't, you know, most people are not going to have that much space. Uh, yeah. I think this is a good good compromise but honestly no you have enough space i think you you may have ocd uh issues or something. well i don't have ocd issues i have too many gadgets oh yeah okay you know your kitchen yeah. one day i want to have my kitchen like i want the um the built-in cameras um all that yeah. stuff in there that's that's that that's the next way i think that's a project for me next year i think that's completely awesome your well, kitchen. I'll tell you what you need to do. You need to marry someone who's a complete geek. Yeah, that's, how I got that's there. tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah. My husband does all that. Oh, that's you awesome. Know. Yeah. Yeah. He does oh, that, that helps. He's, we're both we're both gadget geeks, but he is uh, he's a photographer. He's been a photographer. Yeah, I know that. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that that's yeah. that's that's fantastic. Yeah. And just to put you on the spot, what's your favorite pressure cooker right now? 
Uh, honestly, I have not moved away from the instant, instant pot. Yet. I, like, I, have, I, I have not tried the meal fee pressure what? cooker. I need to do that, but I haven't yet. Okay, and that that's fair. That's fair. What yeah. brand? What what uh, model uh, instant pot to be specific? <laughs> Uh, Ultra six quart. Gotcha. And okay. The uh, Duo Mini. Okay. So you know they have the Max and this and that. I haven't bothered with any. So of what about the, Max the Ultra Mini? Get... Well, so I need the Ultra Mini, and this is going to sound terrible, but you know this is an occupational hazard. I thought I had it, and now I can't find it in, amongst <laughs> oh, all you, the. Yeah, yeah. And so like I'm afraid to go buy it. So right, and it pop up. Right, it's right. behind the closet so, door. Yeah. Exactly. So like I'm giving myself a little time to find it because surely I have. <laughs> Somewhere. That is fantastic. I, you know what? You got me beat. I've never, I've never had that problem. I don't oh, know yeah, I if have I problem. have it or not. <laughs> Just give it time. Just give it time. Yeah, I will say one thing though. I feel like the Ultra has a lot of flexibility, but the, um, sorry, the the. You yeah, do? the Ultra has a lot of flexibility because you can move the dials and this and yeah. that. The Duos are faster. They oh. are. You just, you know, for the Mini, you just press a couple of buttons, you're done. Right. You know, you're not sitting there turning knobs. Wondering if you, okay. yeah. I yeah. just like the sophisticated yeah. look of it. That's that's why I do I'm too. Like, yeah. I'm, I like I said, I'm a gadget snob at these these days. So I, yes. I, I, the look yeah, totally the good. look matters. You know, I, I'm yeah. a true man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I, I, I visual first. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, the the duo does look dated, right? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And did um it. wait Instant Pot didn't didn't they make something new? They made that Vortex. They thing. made a Max. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Vortex. Yeah. You know, I got the Vortex the um to test. Yeah. And I don't know enough about it yet. Um, okay. I, I I have a feeling it's gonna be a good interim. So like you know, on the one hand, you've got the meal tea that's really small. Then you've got the egg shaped. Once. Right. Then on the other extreme, you have the foodies, which uh, are you know require more space, and then you have the Breville, which I love, love, love my Breville. Um, you but, need, you, know, you need to get a June though. Sorry, I slipped. Oh, the June, the four hundred dollar <laughs> oven. Six hundred dollars. Mm. Yeah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> um, but the but the, the I think from the looks of it, the advantage of the Vortex is going to be that it's kind of in between in yeah. terms of. Um, you know, not taking up as much room, but giving you more room to make a bigger batch. Gotcha. So I'm curious to try it and see. Yeah. How that works. Uh, my, my only problem, with, and, I, and I, 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 I remember I had a rant, a uh, uh, instant pot rant one day because when I st- when I first, not when I first got the ninja, but I'd say um, earlier this year, you got a lot of uh-huh. instant pot fanboys coming in the comment section, comparing and comparing. And okay. and I went on a rant. I was like, please don't compare the Ninja Fuji to the because it's it pressure cooks just the same way. It so it, it yeah. takes a step further by dehydrating, air frying, blah 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 blah. Yeah. So yeah, and and part of my rant too, and I always wondered this. I was like, why does an instant pot make an air fryer? They have a bunch I of know. robots uh, that follow them like crazy. It would sell like crazy. But I was yeah. disappointed. I'm glad that they made an air fryer. But I was disappointed. I was. Hoping they would make something like an egg shape or a square shape. I know. Because I know. the problem is with those uh, ovens, that's been done before. And none of them work. None of them. None, the power oven. None of, none of them work. I mean, as far as catching on mainstream. You know, you have some you people know, buy I, it. I, but. Will, I will say I returned my power XL oven. Yeah. The reason was not performance. See, here's the thing. People say, what's the best air fryer for me? And I keep saying that is not the right question to ask. The right question to ask is for what? Like, how many people are you cooking for? How much right. does it matter? Like, the Breville is an amazing oven, but I rarely use it to air fry. Air fry, right. And the reason I returned the, the Power XL is it's a pain to clean. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's a complete oh, yeah. pain oh. to clean. I can't deal with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and, and I'll be honest with you. I'm going to keep it real. I mean, I have the June oven. I've had the Breville. No toaster oven air fryer thingy. None of them are, are 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 really. You can't compare none of them to a traditional. Like even in my Breville and my June, you like to make fried chicken. You're putting it up to like four fifty, five hundred degrees. Yeah. Um, and cooking it longer. You you have it that high, and it's still longer. So I I will admit that I rarely. I, I love my Breville. I have not turned on my oven since I got the Breville, right. but I do not use the Breville for air frying. I use it for everything Thing else. else. Right. So we will agree you know? if you so guys out there if you're looking to buy one of these uh convection ovens for air frying um nah I I I wouldn't I wouldn't uh go crazy about that idea. It's okay, it does do it. 
Um, you know, flat foods, you know, like wings and stuff, you can do more. You know, you put it, lay it out all on the sheet and you could just put it in your oven. But, you know, whole chickens, bacon, stuff that splatter, it's going to be a pain to clean. Oh, my God. Chicken wings. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. in that oven forever. Yeah. I was cleaning the Breville forever yeah. with chicken wings. Never again. Yeah. Now, the only good thing I'll say for the June that I'll say is, guess what? Hmm. For the June, you can use oven cleaner. You just spray it on there and wipe it off. Okay, so talk to me about this June. Maybe this is not part of what you wanted to cover. No, 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 no. I, I, no, I, I, let's, let's talk. talk about it. Oh, okay. Well, it's yeah, a no. it's a Wi-Fi uh, convection oven. Uh, it works with Apple and Android. You can see what you're cooking. It has a camera. Actually, do you have an Apple phone? Yes. Oh, well, then you would love it even more because I don't. But uh, it's uh, some engineers from Apple made the June. And so it has a camera up top so it could see, uh, you can video what you're making. That's not a big deal. But it right. also recognizes what you're putting in. So if I'm putting in bread, it knows it's bread and oh. it has the presets for it. If I put in bacon, it knows how much bacon and the presets for that. If I'm putting steak Dude. and all that stuff, it's it's completely awesome. Mm. It's, and it's, then what, like, what else does it do besides... like? Besides the convection, is there some steam something? Oh there? man, it does dehydrate. It does air fry. Um, it does what else? Um, slow cook. Um, it has a built-in meat uh, probe wow. um, and some other stuff. But it's it's all built in. You just put stuff in. It knows what it is. It has the presets. You can um, control I, it through. I your... now need one. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you gotta get one. You, you, you gotta get one. You gotta get one. It's like new level. Oh. You have to. All I'm right. sorry. Yeah, June How oven. How big is it? Um, it's not much bigger than your Breville. Oh, I see. It's okay. not. It's not much bigger. It's not much bigger. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. You gotta get one though. You got. Yeah, please, please do. I'll. I'll see if I can hook you up with get you like a little fifty dollar discount or something. Cause yeah, you. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get one in your hands. You, yeah. you definitely got it. All right, and just to put you on the spot again. So, what's the best air fryer in your opinion? Okay, so. The best versus the one that I reach for may or may not be the same. But, okay. you know, if you've seen them, the way my kitchen is set up, my husband put these two shelves on the side. And on each of the shelves, we just put the appliances that I use all the time. And uh, that way I don't have to plug them. I don't have to do anything like the Instant Pot, the Air Fryers, the Vitamix, the um, uh Zozi, which is the rice cooker. They all just sit there. And the one air fryer that sits there for me is my Philips Avance. Um, and it doesn't get a lot of press for some reason because it's old, but I tell you what, it's They're got pricey. a grid, it's got a grid basket that oh. I feel like has better airflow and it has a square basket that I feel like accommodates more. What size because is it? The ra- uh, it's, you know, it's the regular three and a half or whatever. Like I don't do the big ones cause it's just two or three of us to eat. So I very rarely do the, you know, the, the six quart or whatever the larger right. ones are. I don't, right. I don't have the need for those. Right. But the square design or the rectangular design, it doesn't cut off the corners, right? So it accommodates more in my view. Mm. And I rarely have to toss it. So that, that's honestly, like, I love the Ninja Air Fryer, but right. my Philips gets more use for right. some reason. Right. Now, I would say, not the snudge at Ninja, we, we love Ninja, but... Yeah, I would say if you if you compare the Ninja Air Fryer to other standard uh, standalone air fryers, I still prefer the standalone air fryers over the Ninja. Um, the foodie, you mean? now yeah, the yeah. foodie. Now the yeah, four yeah, quart, yeah, now yeah. the four quart air fryer is like the best. It, they just need to make it bigger. I don't know if you have that one. That four I, quart, I, oh my god, it's awesome. Which one? The one hundred one, the one that has a little dehydrate feature. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that one's yeah, pretty I, good. I like that one. I like that, that, one, one, that one, but for some good. reason... It's too small. See, for well, me. here's the thing. For me, uh, I like it for two reasons. One, I feel like they've overcome the flaw that... the go- So one of the nice things about it is it doesn't have two baskets in it, which means right. it takes up less space, right? right. But the GoWise that has that, I love my Go... Uh, sorry, not the GoWise, the Gourmia. I love the Gourmia. My only problem with it is they put vents on the outside of the basket... And so if you get too much grease in the outside basket, like, you know, you're doing a whole chicken or something, yeah. it tends to leak. Well, uh, I think the Ninja one is a good compromise because they didn't put vents on the basket, so right. you can't have it leak. Right. And they have, you know, just that little grid that goes in, so it's a lot more space. Right. But for some reason, I just, you know, I've had the Philips for longer, and I think part of it is just habit, right? Like, if you're all creatures yeah, of habit, you get yeah, used to. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think what Philips, um, you know, that was one of the first, well, I guess to me, the first air fryers out. 
um, you know, because they were all they were long before it caught wind over here. Uh, they were overseas, yeah. you know, Australia yes. and uh, everywhere. But um, yes. But I think what happened here is when it caught wind here, um, you know, I guess 2015, 16, you had these aftermarkets, you know, Cook Essentials yeah. and other ones. And they're yeah. going for yeah. like, you know, 100, 120 bucks. Phillips is going for like two fifty, three hundred dollars oh, for a I, three quart. I, I, know, I, I mean, I got I got a go wise almost two years ago now. So, you know, of course, I was one of the early adopters because right. I'm a geek. Right. So like right. I've had my air fryer for a really long time. And, uh, you know, the go wise was my absolute favorite, absolute favorite. And then my son decided he wanted to take it. So I had to give it up. Um, but I use the, the go wise and the go wise was 70 or 80 bucks. And I've had it for two plus years. Right. And, and by the way, my usage is not like other people's usage because I created 200 recipes for the book cookbooks wow. in that time. And you tested right? it in there for Wow. Well, so if you're testing 200 recipes, you're probably making 275. Right. 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 Because you're, in, some of them didn't work. And then some of those recipes had to be tested two or three times. So like it got a lot, those, my air fryers got a lot of use and oh, people yeah. said, Oh, you know, the coating's wearing off. Listen, Here's why your coating is wearing off. It's because you are doing this backwards and spending too much time scrubbing it. So I feel like where people are going wrong with this on the cleaning is the best thing that I found is put hot soapy water and walk away for 20 minutes. Be a lazy person. Do not scrub. Just let it release all of the stuff on its own. And I've never had any trouble with the, huh. the coating flaking off for me. Good tip. Yeah, it's there's no need to scrub it. it. Everything slides straight off after 20 minutes. Nice, nice. Yeah, and especially yeah. if you if if you're doing this, you know, within you know 10 minutes after you made whatever you made. Yes. Yeah. Yes, when it's hot. Yeah. Right. Okay. Like that's the best way. Cool, yeah. cool. Now, have you? I got a, a 5.8 uh, Kasori, and to me, that right now is a good run for your money. Um, it's about 110 bucks. Um, they had a sale on Black Friday. I mean, not Black Friday. Yeah. Amazon, Amazon Prime Day. I keep calling it Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I, I like that. That That's pretty good. The square basket is 5.8 yes. quarts. It's 1,700 yes. watts. I, 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 do you have that one, too? You know what? I, I feel terrible saying this. They gave it to me. They sent it to me for yeah. review. Mm -hmm. And I didn't review it for this reason. I wrote to them and said, look... Your cost is the same as a GoWise or, a, you know, another established brand. And the first question my followers are going to ask me is, is it a reliable brand? And I don't know enough about Kasori to say that. And I see it's got a thousand positive reviews on yeah, yeah, Amazon, yeah. right? But well, you so can't follow that. The only problem with Kasori exactly. is, that, and I told them this, I was like, stop. Yeah. I appreciate you giving it to us, you know, the creators, but they'll give it to like 50 creators at one time. And I'm like, you don't yeah. have to start narrowing it down because... You know, all of us are going to, I, I really believe in it. That's why I did it. And I, I did yeah. it late. I did my Kasori yeah. review. I waited till everyone's done. I was like, and I waited to see people, regular people's reaction. And I heard nothing but positive things. I said, okay, Kasori, go ahead and send me one because a lot of people are liking it. So I just didn't want to be on the bandwagon at first and just I say, know. yeah, it's great. I and know. it really is. I know. That was my big concern is like, I just can't speak to the reliability of the brand, but I will tell you. It accommodates more than absolutely anything else I have. That basket is freaking huge. Yeah, it, it is really nice. is. It like is. I, I'm very attracted by that, and yeah. I really should review it. Yeah, but like I, you know, I just don't know. You don't know, but right, yeah, they're yes. they're on the come up. It's a pretty decent company. Um, yeah. and they, their, their stuff is pretty decent. So I, their their pressure cook. I mean, it's not instant pot, but they're pretty good. They're they're pretty decent. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I, I definitely, try it. yeah, definitely, definitely. What else yeah. did I wanted to? There's ask just you? too many, so many appliances and so little time. Like I can't, you know? <laughs> you know. I've got a whole bunch of appliances that I still want to review and I still haven't done them. So I feel oh, wow. badly about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, we'll talk about some of that. I got a Zoe bread machine. I don't know if you're into that, that type of stuff. I finally, I had a, uh, what did I have before? I think the bread man and now I upgraded to oh, a, yeah. cause, oh, and also if you can, I, I need a, I'm doing it just for low carb bread. I'm talking like, 
I'm talking like two carbs a slice. That's no, a... I know. And I have a ton of uh, low-carb bread recipes. Okay. Uh, many of them have been very... You know what you need, Doug? You need my uh, you need my uh, keto desserts book because it's not just desserts. It's baking and everything. Okay. Uh, in fact, if you remind me, I'll see if we can't send you one if you want to do a giveaway in your Google. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. please do. Please yeah. do. And, and, and yeah. But none of those use, none of those use uh, the bread machines because there's no rising cycle, right? I'm, you can't use yeast and sugar and all of that. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's been the problem for me. Huh. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. Cool. I'll definitely check that out. What else did I want yeah. to ask you? Okay. Oh, yes. Did we, I want to bring this up earlier when we were talking about Ninja. Did you see their new lineup of stuff? I did. And can I just say, I wrote to them and, I, you know, you and I were in there for one of those product right. reviews, right? right. I don't, did you get? Did you go back a second time? Uh-uh. You went? Yeah, me neither. Okay. No. Okay. No. And that, that kind of surprised me is that they didn't reach out the second time. And the other thing is, you know, it's like I I wish that Instant Pot is, I think, to be honest, the worst offender. Like, they don't tell us about these things. Yeah. They want our help in, in publicizing yeah. it, but they yeah. won't tell us ahead of time. Yeah. And then we find out from our fans and followers yeah. that this stuff is out. And I'm like, well, that's kind of not cool, really. Yeah, like, if yeah. You, if I, you want my help, then you need to help me a little bit. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you're you know? right. You're right. I you're, know, it sounds... Done. So no, no, I, I get what like, you're saying. And that's one of the, the things I said. That I was like, well, we need to be there not when it's done, when you're making it. You don't, right. don't make it and then tell me, okay, this is what we have. Because yes. if I have a critique, yeah, you're not, not, not going to like it. <laughs> yeah, not that helpful. That's true. But they do have a, um, I'm definitely going to get that. I don't know if you saw the Ninja uh, Deluxe. It's an eight court. And um, I think it has... It's a like nine and one, and I think it's it an has, air fryer. Yeah, it's a it's a Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Oh, I see. I it see. It looks I see. all digital and 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 fancy. So I, I I definitely and I think I don't know if it's that one, but they also have a another one that has a meat mm-hmm. probe in it, and I, I remember that's one of the suggestions oh. I had. I, I always wanted a meat probe. I bought one of those wireless meat probes, um, yeah, which yeah, works pretty good, probes. but. Um, yeah. But if they have one with the air fryer, I think that'd be great. So I, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, I, I'm excited for that. All too. of mine, like you have to use an air fryer because I use so many spices mm. that you can't see. You can't do a visual test on any of my stuff. Right. You know? Right. 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 Yeah. You're gonna need. You're gonna need a meat probe. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And they're also, oh, and I also bought a, a Vitamix finally. Oh, I love mine. Oh love mine, yeah. Love mine. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. So I, you know, I really hesitated. I'm like, why do I need a such an expensive air fryer? I mean, a, such an expensive blender. Um, blender yeah. You know? And uh, I got it ten years ago, and at that point, we were doing a lot of protein shakes. And my God, that thing—it's worth its weight in gold. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I, you know, I was like, I had my ninja. I, I had ninja. Ironically, I had ninjas all before, it, and I knew Vitamix was great. But I was a casual, you know, I, I, I made yeah, stuff yeah, here yeah. and there. But now I make a lot of smoothies. And what I yeah. noticed, not just Ninja, but a lot of these blenders, they have plastic inside them. And if yes. you use it a lot, it's just going to break down. It's just, if you use it every I day, know. every other, it's just going to break down. It just, I know Ninja has a five-year warranty, but once you buy a Vitamix, you know, it's stainless steel parts and all that stuff. I mean, 20 years, 10, 15, 20 years, you're going to have it no problem. Well, I tell you, the other thing is that, uh, you know, I'd had it for about five years or something, and uh, we, I don't know what happened, but the motor kind of started to act up. And uh, we called them, and they said, let us hear the motor. And so we played it for them, and they heard it, and they were like, yep, yeah, you need a new one. And we were like, that's it? And they said, yep, yeah, that's it. We'll send you one. So we, they sent me an entirely new machine. Wow. I mean, that's Like an upgrade. Yes, wow. well, not upgrade, the exact same one, oh, okay. but like the whole motor was new. So like, think about it. If those things last forever and I just got a brand new one because they listened to it on the phone and said, yeah, that doesn't sound right. I mean, that's, you know, to me, that's a ringing endorsement. Yeah. I would oh, buy yeah, that brand yeah, again yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They just listen, you no know, yeah. paperwork, no nothing. They just yes, listen to nothing. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they're like, yeah, that, that doesn't sound right. So, uh, that, okay. That's awesome. I can do that. That is awesome. I know. Well, cool. So, any um, gadgets that you are uh, thinking about getting in the um, in the horizon? Or? Yes, yes. So, here, I'm really struggling with it because it is so expensive, so expensive. But I, I'm dying to get a thermal mix. 
I don't know why. I just really want to try it. Wow. I want to try a thermal mix. Okay. Yes. But it's so expensive. Like How I much is it? It's fifteen hundred dollars. Whoa! It's insane. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's yeah, insane, that's... and this is why I've resisted. Yeah, that's. But I yeah. keep looking I... at that, going, I could do something with that. No, no, that's way. I'd have to borrow from my four hundred one k to get that one. <laughs> I can't. And I the thing can't... is, it's like you know, what's the return on your investment? Of yeah, <laughs> it ain't much. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll tell you one thing I do love, which is not uh, is is my smoker. Do you have a smoker? Yeah, I have a um, charbroil oh. outside. Yeah. Yeah. I love my smoker. Summertime is so perfect. I, I, what I love about it is it's idiot proof. Like the first time I got it, yeah, I don't, I don't ever read manuals. Me neither. And so I was like, oh yeah, yeah, let's hook this up. And my husband was like, um, are you going to read a, instructions? I'm like, no, how hard is it? And he said, what are you going to do? And I was like, I'm going to take a piece of meat. I'm going to put some spice on it. And I'm going to stick it in there. And he's like, that's it. And I'm like, yeah, it's not that complicated. Yeah. <laughs> choose a temperature, choose a probe temperature, and yep. have at it. And set it in like, Okay, yep. well, we could all, always order pizza. It was the <laughs> best freaking meat I've ever made. You know, it doesn't take much. Yeah, I'm. Mean, yeah, if your if your smoker has the meat uh, probe, yeah, that's what I do. I set yeah. it to the temperature, and it goes till it hits there and goes to keep warm. I, and that's pretty uh, easy. I yeah, I, lo- I love my smoker. What's yeah. what's your, you, what 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 you wanting? Oh, I have a master build. And what wood chips do you? What's your favorite ones that you? Um, that's so in the smokers. Interestingly, that's the only one I have. I haven't tested the others. I haven't tested. No, no. I mean, what chip? What wood chips do you use? Like hickory or? Oh, chips. Okay, so I am a philistine because people talk about what chips did you use, and I'm like, I buy three or four from Amazon, and I use the first one I can lay my hands on. So people are going to be horrified because people have this. You have to use apple for pork chops. You have to use it. I don't. I just use whichever. Just whatever. I in. like hickory and so it far. Looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I've never eaten a piece of meat and gone, oh, this would have been good if only I had used hickory. <laughs> like, <it's never laughs> well, you know, but I, like, oh, I, I, I realize, though, the apple one is a little more uh, a silent of a taste. Sweeter. So reserve. Yeah. yeah. And the hickory is yeah. more loud. Like, I did mac and the cheese with hickory. Yeah. It's yeah. like every bite, like the whole yeah. pan. Even when you, I, like, I dishwash the pan like three times after, it still smells like. Smell it. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, said, I think it's just, I like, I like a deep, heavy smoke flavor. You know, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, from Texas, right? For. So, like, in Texas, we don't use barbecue sauce. If you're using barbecue sauce, there's something wrong with your barbecue. Yeah. Right? So, like, it, it has to be a loud, in your face taste, and you have to look at that and go, this is smoked meat, man. Yeah. And for that, <laughs> hickory is really good for that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's yeah. awesome. I haven't really yeah. had any um things in my horizon i got a, I, oh i did get a new kasori uh dehydrate a standalone i always wanted that i know oh, i have one for, yeah and i want to i want to make beef jerky oh yeah I'm that, well more than that i want to make like a, a fruit roll up i want to make like oh, uh, yeah, yeah. you know what i want to try i don't know if this is going to work i want to make my own like uh, spice for like baked chicken, like my own, like dehydrate yeah, yeah, my yeah, own yeah. spices and then, then put it on and see how it tastes compared to just sprinkling stuff on that you buy in the store. Just to, buy just for store, my own, yeah. just to, just to see. Yeah. But, That's and then, yeah, and then just fruits, you know, I work from home, just fruits to snack on, like apples yeah. and pineapples and, and, well, maybe not pineapples because they're a little sweet, but like, uh, maybe blueberries, strawberries and stuff like that. Well, the other thing you could do, too, is if you're trying to do low carb, is you could do more vegetables, right? You could do zucchini chips. You could do um, uh, dehydrated little carrots to snack on. Carrots may be a little bit higher. But, like, other vegetable chips, I think, also work quite well in there. Okay. And that may be, yeah, that may be a good option for low carb. Yeah, we'll definitely try that. Okay, cool, cool. So, I know you're busy. Your schedule is busy and stuff. What what What's new on the horizon for you? Well, I, um, you know, I've been heads down in books and I think I need to take a bit of a break. I'm exhausted from constantly. It's, it becomes a full-time job and the blog was never meant to be a full-time job for me, oh. but it turned into one. So I think, I, you know, for me, it's That's like an I awesome job, to, by the way. Sorry. It is, it is a great <laughs> job, but it's, it's uh, you know, when you're having to make two and three recipes a day, that's, that's exhausting. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah and yeah, seven, yeah. seven of those in 18 months is a lot. 700 new recipes for kind wow. of It's ridiculous. Wow. So I'm going to take a bit of a break from that, I think, for for a little bit until these come out. And I'm just kind of focusing on getting the blog up okay. to, um, you know, where it needs to be. You know, I just got a little bit neglected and um, I'm just, I'm focusing on that. And just okay. enjoying cooking again. Awesome. You know? that, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. And just for the, um, the, the viewers out there, um, 
the listeners, should I say, um, tell them about your um, your your site and your Facebook uh, group. Yeah, so the site is twoslavers.com, and uh, the most visited page on there probably is my uh, recipe index because I make a variety of recipes. So I make instant pot ones, air fryer ones, I make keto ones and non-keto ones, and then I cover probably 20 different uh, ethnicities at the least. Like I love to cook food from different countries, and so you'll find you know bizarre things yeah. like... Jordanian and uh, Korean and Vietnamese and Indian and Chinese all nestled up against each other. Oh, wow. And so I spend a lot of time making sure it's very authentic tasting. So like I'll have people who understand that cuisine and those flavors test it for me and make sure that, you know, it tastes right. Hmm. Um, but then the Facebook groups are, you know, people will tell you they're the nicest groups on Facebook. And part of it is because I will not tolerate any meanness. So my thing is, you have to act like you're in my house, right. you know, and uh, if you if you're in my house at my table and you wouldn't say something, then please don't say it in the group. Right. Um, and that's worked out well. So the groups are very active. They're highly engaged. What's um, the name of them? I, so there's a you have to just look for for two sleevers okay. uh, for groups and because one it. of them okay. is an yeah because one of them is an international one which is non keto so okay. if people you know if you have questions about cooking from a variety of countries that's the place for you and then the other one is a keto group so if you're looking for keto help keto nice. recipes keto tips nice. um, and I'm a very no nonsense keto like I'm not all about supplements and this and that my thing is just eat real food. You know, yeah. don't complicate things. Yeah. Um, so, like, I, I t try to break down keto. So, you know, people, the nice thing about that group is there are hundreds of people that have lost 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, 80 pounds wow. from just eating my recipes and not doing anything expensive. Like, all the resources are free. I'm not charging for any of that. Wow. Um, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just a way for people, to, for all of us to get healthier and, and eat good food while doing it. Awesome. Well, yeah, I definitely yeah. got to hit that up because, like I said, I'm, yeah. I'm not keto yet, but I'm low-carb. Crazy. Hey, you know what? It's better than not. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to start somewhere, and low carb is better than the standard American diet. So yeah. I won't worry about it. <laughs> awesome, you know? awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Well, hey, that's that's all I got. Um, this was so much fun. Yeah, it's so much and fun. It's always yeah. good to it's catch up to with you because. Yeah. You know, I've been trying to catch up with her for like weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I know, no, no, hey. I've you, been trying no, to catch no, up you, with myself for weeks. That, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, no, no. I, I hope one day I can be as busy as you because that's awesome. It's not like, you know, uh, you know, my stomach hurts or, you know, my toe, my big toe hurts, <laughs> so I can't do it today. Like, you're off doing yeah. this, you're off doing that, this, that, this, that. So that that's pretty awesome. All right. Well, thanks again for uh, coming here. And also, just to let you know, if uh, if you're on iTunes or Spotify, you could just type in Cooking with Doug and you can hear this podcast. So just uh, check that out whenever you can, the viewers. Oh, and, for me, and, yes. And even yes, you. And for the viewers, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I will definitely check it out. Cool, sure. cool, cool. Well, it was a blast. And I will catch you in the groups and in your groups. And I know you're in some of my groups and, and, and I'll check out. Oh, and also check her out on YouTube as well. Thank you. Yep. And I'll catch you. Thanks. Thanks again. Bye. Bye-bye. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.